subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. Hi everyone, my name is Hemant and I welcome you to the Inkpart Hub Media. Today we have with us Ms. Nidhi Kumari who is a PhD scholar at IIT Jodhpur. We are so glad to have her here. So she is an engineer and then she did her MBA from IMT Hyderabad and then she moved on to do her PhD from IIT Jodhpur. Welcome Nidhi. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. I'm very much obliged to be the part of the Inkpot Hub team. Thank you so much. Yeah, so, so, Nidhi, let's start with the interview thing because our aspiring scholars are very much keen to know about the IIT Jodhpur thing. So, Nidhi, the first thing, uh, what made you choose a research career? Uh, sir, actually, this started when I was doing my uh, MBA at IMT. So, there we have this research uh, management we have that uh, presentation part in term five that is uh, compulsory for everyone mm -hmm. so when i was preparing for that uh, luckily i was under the dr upper Vishanarya, who is currently part of i am bangalore as well so he was my mentor mm -hmm. so we both uh, prepared like he helped me in preparing my research paper submission which i submitted at imp and luckily i presented that paper in the international conference as well Okay. From there, it motivated me to study more about the academics research, explore more how like we are writing paper, how new concepts mm -hmm. is coming up, like how people are talking about the cases. Because in MBA, most of the institute, they have this case study method. And during my PGD as well, I was also more like given a, like my pedagogy, college pedagogy was more about the case study. So I was mm. like thinking how the professors they used to write, how they used to discuss. So it all started from there when I was doing my uh, final year thesis and presented my paper. Uh, then luckily I got placed into a research firm, Motor Intelligence. So they are doing a market research firm, primary mm. and secondary as well. But I was more inclined to do the secondary research for the team. Mm. Then I worked there for around a year, but then I was like, no, I have to continue my career in academics and I got an opportunity to work with Mike as research assistant. Mm -hmm. so again, my job role was to assisting the faculties for their research work, uh, like doing the primary or doing the secondary for them, drafting them, uh, reworking again, again, them looking for the papers, etc. Plus looking for the class materials as well, assisting mm -hmm. them in class as well. So that was very much fascinating. And then I was like, no, I wanted to pursue my career in academics and become a full-time academician rather other than being the part of corporate mm -hmm. so then i started you no know, i have to complete my phd because to grow in this line you have to be yeah, a right. doctoral yes i have to earn a doctoral degree to continue more to learn more about different topics that is why from there i started looking for institutes where i can apply and do my uh, doctoral degree and then luckily i qualified it jodhpur that's good so so, so how, how did your experience at imt hyderabad my kind upgrade uh, encouraged you to choose this topic or choose the specialization. Uh, specialization, I was very much clear because I had my master's in HRM and OB mm -hmm. itself. I had dual majors, marketing and HRM, but I was more inclined towards HRM. That is why I, when I started working with Micah, I was working under the professor who are specialized in HRM domain like Professor Shubhra Gaur or again Upper Vasanarya mm -hmm. so they are professors of HRM itself so uh, there I got to work with uh, like I got exposure of different topics uh, they were working on creativity some were working on gender like many were working on impression management so and so forth so from there I started to know more about and explore the topic mm -hmm. and when I decided like I want to prepare my proposal again it started with the theme that Micah came across the creativity because Micah is known for its creativity part mm -hmm. so again I presented a paper uh, on creativity and conformity at their conference only that's all, that was an international conference uh, under thin and the guidance of dr apurva scenario sir so that was where i started writing my own paper my own case study that was my first step i took decision to start my paper of my own uh, mm -hmm. earlier i was working with the professor but i started working on my own paper so of course, that experience, taking the guidance from various faculties, having one-on-one -on -one discussions, 
like Maika gave me option of multiple, uh, like they have that library facilities. Mm-hmm. They have access to multiple genres, all the A star genres. So I was easily available for me to read, to study. And they had that leadership talk series where like, uh, like a great personalities from different domains, they come and speak about their experience. So I used to be the part of that online itself and listen what they talk. So all these experiences helped me to prepare my uh, journey well and like be ready for the interview before I sat for the interview process. That's great. So, so what made you choose IIT Jodhpur for your PhD? Actually, uh, Jodhpur, which I am currently uh, opted for, is the online mode. So there, the, all the thing is same is just that Corona helped this to invent came with this online earlier. It was the offline as well. So mm-hmm. the second batch of the online program. So it's that I have to attend the session, but I can be at my place where I'm currently staying. I am not required to be at campus. I may have to be in the campus, but this is the liberty that they have given me. So there are very less number of college out there who is mm-hmm. having this facility or the prestigious college rather, I should say. Hmm. So that made me to like shortlist the college and wanted more need to crack that college because opportunity was more and like number of colleges was less. So that was main reason I. That's it. Did you yeah. apply to any other institute for a PhD? Uh, yes, I did apply, but uh, the best I converted was the Jodhpur only. So I opted that. Okay. I applied so, to multiple colleges, okay. but the best what I got was that. That's good. So now our aspiring scholars would love to know about your admission experience because IIT Jodhpur is a very premier institute, especially in Central India and Rajasthan. So now, uh, hmm, how was your interview experience? Okay, uh, sir, uh, once they had the shortlisting criteria, they have asked the people uh, came to fill a form where they were yeah. opting for the specialized domain. So one can uh, apply to two domains at max. Uh, when I was applying so uh, like major two domains where I am applying and willing to give my interview process so once we fill the form uh, like I applied for uh, HRM like human capital and organization dynamics is the main specialization they call it Uh, and then uh, once they have this number of students they give some set of uh, research papers specifically from that domain to those students Mm -hmm. and in the interview uh, apart from your research and you have to submit your research proposal as well in the Google form when they float it out. Mm-hmm. So in the interview process, the interview is all about your research project, mostly inclined towards your research proposal. Mm-hmm. Uh, then the paper they have shared with you, they do uh, discussions about that, whether you have read it, how did you, what was the flow, multiple questions on those mm-hmm. research paper, like who was the author, uh, like what did you find, what did you like summarize in five lines or summarize in one minute so that they came to know that you have read the paper and how you have read the paper that is also very important. Mm-hmm. Then uh, they asked me to do a, a similarity between the paper they presented and my proposal was the methodology can be same, can we opt for the methodology, if not then why and if yes then why. So that was a very uh, subjective kind of question they mm-hmm. asked me. Uh, and then this asked some of the questions related to your proposal, who was the author, what are the latest things that has uh, happened in and around the, some of the genres, mm-hmm. uh, like what the author, recent or paper, any author I presented, Indian author, etc. And some concepts related to my area of research. Mm-hmm. And uh, then, uh, so mainly my interview were focused on these questions only. And yes, some of the questions on my work experience, I love because I was a uh, like mm-hmm. having a work experience over there. So they were keen to know more about my profile, like what I did in my mm-hmm. past, what I did in corporate and at my academy. So, so that's good. What was the, the selection procedure for IIT Jodhpur was? First they uh, ask for a research proposal, then they give you papers to study and then the interview happens. Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, which was the process part which you found the most complex? Uh, actually, Complex, I would rather say uh, there was, it's like a ray that you have no boundaries to define in the interview Mm -hmm. because you can read the paper multiple of times. They gave you the option to keep the hard copy or soft copy available Mm -hmm. with you during that uh, interview as well. But uh, in the interview, what kind of question they will ask, it's very uh, 
you so you are not prepared i was not prepared to compare the research methodology of the paper i was given and the proposal which i proposed so that was on the spot you have to take the decision so it's really open ended so that was little tricky i believe so now what are the some preparation tips you would like to share with the potential aspirant candidates in terms of uh, how did you prepare for the iit jodhpur phd program the qualifying exam and the interview and the, all those things uh so qualifying exam they they go for the standard test like if you are net if you are tet or if you have any scholarship from the government authority mm-hmm. so if you have that they you may set for the exam uh for the paper it's up to them which paper they will send it to you so it is uh, like highly recommendable that you read the paper it's not a good that you get an impression of not reading the paper so reading the paper minimum 5 times knowing the author knowing like the main topic main agenda knowing some of the keywords that is around the paper is also an important uh, question can important questions came across and one thing i would also say is that one should be very much uh, pro about the research proposal they are proposing it's good not to know lot of thing about your proposal but at least what we have written on the document one should be aware of those terminologies those definitions mm-hmm. uh, basic questions one should not copy from there uh, when i gave my interview as well i was also got the same tip which i would like which i felt this is a very important and thus i would like to pass it on to the again uh, young scholars as well that be confident with your research proposal there is nothing good or bad is that they just want to see how capable you are enough to answer the question because you are going to learn over there mm-hmm. so they also know that you are a student and you must not be knowing everything about the paper so prepare your own proposal write only one paragraph or two par- paragraph but it should be your own you should not copy it from others and be justifiable what you have written and then you should have some knowledge about your core concept Uh, from the area you are trying to apply maybe obhrm then you should read books on obhrm for finance you should read books on finance so and so forth so overall one should prepare in a holistic view because interview can go in any direction okay. so nidhi you cracked the iit jodhpur phd entrance while working so any time management tip you would like to share with people who are currently working and want to move into full time academics by pursuing a phd uh is it that one have to practice regularly uh, mm. when my the whole guide for me helping in the journey like i mentioned about the purpose so he had uh, like guided me to fix a slot like for example 8 to 10 in the morning or any time which you feel you are very productive maybe 6 to 8 up to you and focus that time dedicately to the research work as well to your learning apart from the work you are doing because you have to uh, sail in two boats parallelly other work is also equally important and you have to qualify the exam so you just cannot prioritize one over the other so take some slot from your 24 day hour time maybe in the night and fix it for your research work and sit dedicatedly study more about it uh, look for the papers try to study and that is the way only way you can crack it if you fix your time slot So how uh, how many months or how many weeks did it take for you to prepare for the qualifying exam and for the interview thing? Uh, I was preparing parallelly, so I have not uh, sat for specific months. I was looking for the colleges uh, from long time, so parallelly I was working on my paper. I was updating my knowledge, uh, working uh, for the profile. Uh, but yes, as soon as the notification came, I was more uh, prompt, more uh, focused towards the interview process. So I started reading more and more, like doing the revision. Actually, rather I should say more and more, because days was coming nearby. But it was not. I sat for a specific. It was a uh, like long journey for me. So how many months would you suggest the aspiring scholars to start preparing prior to the whole process, if you would like to suggest? Uh, so it depends uh, from the researcher because if the mm-hmm. person has their proposal ready. Mm-hmm. uh he would not or she would not take much time because the only thing they have to focus is the revision of their core subject knowledge mm-hmm. but if the proposal is not ready one should fix form like fix the proposal work on the proposal because it has to be your core because they ask the motive about it and you should be justifiable it should not be downloaded from the internet mm-hmm. or any other source so first you prepare your research proposal look for the paper make a list of it like top authors who have worked so it depends how much how quickly they are able to do how well they are able to find the research gap and mm-hmm. from where did they find so as soon as they are able to finalize it 
the duration will of course come like it will become less because now just have to revise the yes. whole concept so so uh, as per your experience what are the qualities that the interviewers look for in the scholars at iid sir they uh, what i felt that they were looking for my zeal to do the research for because like like i said some questions were really unexpected so of course your attention and your ability to analyze the situation as soon as they ask you go to page number this and do the analysis so you have to be a little quick in doing those analysis plus they also look for your real motivation like whether you are able to do so or not because i'm working and parallelly uh, doing my phd so that requires double energy compared mm. to the full time mm. scholars so th- showing that motivation only comes when you are really motivated and you have to show them with lots of example so whenever you are trying to convince them that i have this skill have some uh, example ready that you have done in past that is really recommendable that they really feel that yes this person can be the part of the institute then of course he or she will be like maybe uh, they get selected for these kind of uh, colleges great so uh... now nidhi we are moving on to the campus experience so since you have mentioned that you are pursuing it online but you have been to the campus so what kind of vibes did you get from the campus and what was your experience at the it jodhpur campus so people they are uh, when i went to it jodhpur i was very thrilled to explore the campus because when i saw in the google it's a very beautiful campus mm-hmm. uh, when i went there people were uh, when i first went there to my sme building school of management building luckily i went to the thesis room where all the students were studying mm-hmm. so my first interaction was not with any security guard or any other person my uh, like first interaction was with the seniors who were already studying and so i sat with them i like i sat discuss how they were and they were very happy uh, like doing the research work and uh, they were enjoying the journey they just said that it's up to you how you are going to take this up the faculties over there are very uh, supportive in nature mm-hmm. but they are required they what they need is your uh, initiation they won't come and ask you do this or do that you have to go and say sir i i did this i did that please guide me further Mm-hmm. and then only you will be able to build the relationship with them so the seniors over there they guided me how they are doing number of subjects i have to take which are more important which is mm-hmm. not competitively so overall uh, also when i went it was the entire orientation program for the uh, batch so uh, it was a kind of a festive season for it jodhpur mm-hmm. rather i'd say many uh, senior members from the corporates from their office they they visited they shared their experiences as well so uh, my stay at jodhpur campus were fantastic i mean i was waiting for that day to come actually so i was enjoying i was living all the moment as much as i can live that so how was your dining experience and other experiences at the campus during that stay or uh, dining like they have the mess facility veg and non veg etc so you just have to opt i was a vegetarian like i am a vegetarian so i opted for the veg food i bought the pass since i'm not residing permanently mm. in the campus i have my tickets and i have that token system for the days mm. per day wise so a uh, food was good uh, like people, like there was lot good arrangement and was done for drinking water cold water or washing you have sanitizers mask everywhere so they were taking a uh, good uh, protocols covid protocols as well so dining was also so because most of us college we when usually ask them what is the best thing that you love about the campus they the food thing usually features in the top 3 so they always say that the food is good so we don't have to go out and the dining experience is good So that's why I asked that how is the dining experience at the campus for our scholars who would love to stay on the campus at IIT Jodhpur. So what are the three things that you love about IIT Jodhpur? Sir, I the best thing like I felt about IIT first from my own perspective that uh, I'm quite optimistic that I'll get a lot of opportunity to explore myself, to explore different areas because the best thing uh, they have came across is they are coming up with interdisciplinary research. Mm-hmm. so it's not just that you have to be only confined to the domain you have applied you can come to you can combine multiple domains and come out with your own research work so you can uh, talk in medical terms you can talk in corporate it terms so uh, that is the best thing that is coming or emerging nowadays because mm-hmm. research is getting uh, like 
inclined towards all the things so they have multiple partnership mou so i'm quite optimistic that those think will help me uh, to rather explore multiple domains of hrm like hrm in different uh, industry or hrm in the, so i'm quite optimistic that i'll be able to explore more uh, while pursuing this at uh, jodhpur so this is the best thing i uh, first best thing that like, i really liked about it second is the online mode this was i think the first mm-hmm. college i came across in india who is like giving you this opportunity to be at your place and to pursue the degree and giving you with the same rigorous you are the part of the team mm-hmm. you are the part of class assignment you are part of class participation so i am not losing out on anything they mm-hmm. have this uh, technology the classes are so much highly technologized that i can attend the sessions faculty in the class can uh, like handle this online students as well as offline student as well simultaneously like my weightage is given on class participation so i'm not uh, missing out on anything that i could have missed when i'm not in the campus peer learning is of course happening i'm able to make new friends learn from them so that is also happening parallelly so these like i really feel like this is a must for a phd scholar yeah. so i'm not losing out anything and of course uh, jodhpur is a beautiful place i have been there i explored there so it's a you it's a place to be so jodhpur the tagline is that of it jodhpur is the place to be and once you go there you will feel that no this is the place to be like you are at yeah. the right place so they'll make you feel that no you are at the correct place so they are correctly fulfilling their own tagline the place yeah. to be So uh, I feel like these are some nice things. That's great. That's great. So now uh, we move on to the rapid fire thing. So let's do it really quick. Uh, an early morning ritual or practice? I prefer reading a normal paper, a normal research paper, not the newspaper, uh, to better understand what currently I'm working. And I also prepare my to-do list uh, and try to stick my day to what I have to do because. parallelly i have to work on multiple things so it's better to have your things ready uh, then i block my calendars uh, mm-hmm. I, that is i learned at mica to block the calendars and accordingly fix the slot for your task so first thing first i used to see how i can block my calendar so that there is no overlapping mm-hmm. so these are some things that i prioritize doing like very quickly in the morning it's <coughs> okay, so, so a, a must have item on your work desk maybe a water a to do list pen Um, mostly this thing only, and a so, food to eat because I'm a food. <laughs> so that's good. Scholars, I mean, when you're working long hours, sitting, you always need the energy thing going consistently, and not to feel it get drained out. That's great. Yeah. Uh, so, what is your latest purchase that helped you increase your productivity? I'm trying to shift to myself from the hard copy to the soft writing my notes from hard copy to mm-hmm. soft copy because I've realized that I have to carry so much of things mm-hmm. my own working file plus the general notebook which I'm preparing so I've started shifting myself I have not shifted to make the digital notebook so an iPad with i pencil with that application that as I'm trying to learn and shift my notes and other things so that I have everything in cloud and I can use it across the device so uh, yes I recently bought some of the application and invested on these things so that I can use it across the devices that's great so your favorite book nidhi uh sir i am not that much fond of reading book but yes mm-hmm. the first like the book which i recently bought uh, was again on creativity my uh, area of interest so luckily i got chance to like listen the talk by dr pradeep khandwala who is known as mm-hmm. father of creativity in india so he came and i was lucky enough to sit in his uh, audience so by after inspiring from him i bought his book uh, organizational creativity that is by him and i read it I literally read it in the night after all my working hours, so that I was knowing about the concept. So that was the recent purchase that I bought. But mostly I read about the papers only because that is how is mostly we are working on. And for mm-hmm. the e-books, I get from the library, so I hardly buy any books uh, because we have that uh, very good library system that all the books are already there on their website or on the library. so you can easily download the book and uh, try reading that even the question was on khanwala sir book as well so mm. one of the professor at id when i mentioned his name she asked me the question and i was happy that i was able to answer her because it was from the chapter which is there in the book oh, so good. that is 
so uh, your the favorite your favorite quote something that keeps you going uh that learning and un- unlearning it happens simultaneously when you have to grow you have to unlearn something and you have to learn that thing so if you are unlearning if you are getting opportunity one should not restrict yourself that no i know this so i won't change because things are changing things around us is changing there's lot of new things coming up so one should not be constrained so le- if you have to unlearn something go for it unlearn it and relearn but that that's that's great and that should be the credo for the scholars that you may have to unlearn a lot of thing to learn a lot of new stuff this was a quote given by one of the professor at imts i i, I really liked it very much that's great that's great so uh, uh, that was nidhi kumari for you and a phd candidate from iit jodhpur thanks a lot nidhi for being our guest for the admission and campus experience interviews at in pot hub thank you so much sir thank you for the stage actually i'm i've also cracked interview by listening lot of interviews that happened on the stage many senior professors who were part of this they shared their experience how they are taking that mission so those experiences are really useful for people like me who are aspiring for the good institute and looking forward their career in this domain thank you so much sir especially the first nice interaction with you same is It's great to see you all here. Thank you for watching our work. If you have not subscribed to Ink Pot Hub Media, then please hit the bell icon and subscribe to our channel and support research celebrations in India.